hello everyone welcome to my channel i am somya this side and please subscribe me if you have not already subscribed your one subscription means a lot to me and today i am here with a new video where i'm going to explain that how we can create a prom builder flex template so there are different kinds of um, uh, prom builder templates and today we will talk about the flex template because it is one of the most widely used template especially for business purposes and the main reason is that um, this flex template it does not have any entry point what it means that we can use it with apex we can use it with flows we can use it with agent force so we can uh, use it in a, a variety of uh, uh, you know however our needs fit in we can use this flex template so today what we will do is that we are going to create a newsletter okay and mostly it is used for uh, like creation of uh, uh, some social media posts or emails or newsletters okay as uh, as it is written here so Today we are going to create a newsletter for a resort called as Coral Cloud Resort. So this is the name of the resort. Okay, so let's see that how we are going to do that. So first of all, you are going to reset the password as we do in all the units. So you can do it and then you will create, you will get an email or something like this. You can go on this link and reset your password and then you will be able to log into your org. So this is the org which I have right now. So let's do step by step and see what they are saying. So first of all, they are saying that um, uh, we are going to uh, turn on this Einstein toggle, right? So let us do that if it is already not there. So we are going to go to the setup. We are going to go in this quick find box and let's search for it. Uh, just a moment. So what they're saying that uh, um, go to the quick find box einstein setup so we are going to go to the setup um, uh, here it is and then we are going to see that whether the toggle is on or off so this is the toggle turn on einstein this is off right now so i'm going to do this toggle on it will take some time and then the einstein is on now so we can refresh the browser this reveals new admin settings so let's refresh it uh, actually it already got refreshed but let's do it once again so now the new settings will be applied okay so now first of all what we are going to do is that um, uh, there is an there is a already object which is known as experience so if i'm going to search i'll already get an object here and i'm going to add data to that object okay so let's do this so this is the app launcher i'm going to search for experiences here and i'm going to click on this experience and now i'm going to add new experience so it is saying the name is uh, family karaoke night so let me copy this and the activity level is low capacity is uh, 50 uh, 6 pm it's this is 6 pm okay and the description is given so i'm going to copy this description as it is here and then uh, it says duration is two location is melody lounge so let's do the duration two location and then the type is family and kids okay so this much information is given and let's save it so we got this experience name and everything we have built now we are going to create one more event which is known as sunrise yoga okay so uh, i am going to this is one we have created now let's create the another one and here activity level medium capacity is 35 here we have to select medium and the time is 7 a.m description i'm going to copy from here so the start time is 7 a.m okay i copied the description let me paste it here duration is one and location is the show name one location and then type is fitness and exercise so fitness and exercise and i'm going to save it so now you can see that we have 
in the experiences if we will go we have two uh, records which we have created one is sunrise yoga and the other one is family karaoke night okay so this is what now what we will do is that we are going to create a flex template okay so let's do um, let's go in the uh, setup and find that where is our prompt builder so i'll go here in the setup and then i'll type here prompt builder i got it and now i'm going to click on new prompt builder okay so uh, this is how it looks like so new prompt template and now it will ask me the type so i'm going to come uh, select here pro, uh, flex type okay and now i can give the name the name is new guest newsletter so this is the name and uh, then i'm going to write the description newsletter for incoming resort guest this is the description okay and then uh, it is saying that uh, we can we have to add the resources right so in this we are going to add two resources one is reservation and the other one is experience okay so let's add it so uh, we have to select the name as it is so let me copy it from here okay this came and this is object and then uh, they are asking for a uh, selection right so select uh, this is um, reservation so the object is external reservation so let me select that external reservation here it is okay and then i have to add one more source which is a resource which is experience okay so let me add it so this is called as uh, let me copy it from here only so that it doesn't go wrong and I've copied it from here. This is object, and here I will select experience, and this is the experience. Okay, so now I have selected two resources. Now, what does it mean uh, selecting the two resources? It means that when my prompt is created, okay, so now you can see that the prompt is created. If you will go to the resource um, uh, area here, okay, now here I can see both reservation, and I can also select whatever fields I want from this reservation. And then uh, same is for the experience and I can also select the field. Okay, this is how it works. Now, uh, let's go here and then now uh, finally we have to create a prompt. Okay, so I'm going to copy it as it is. Okay, and these here you can see, right? So these are the merge fields, the values which we will give by our own. Okay, so let's see how do we do that. Now here is the space. I'm going to copy it as it is okay so i've just copied it now what we are going to do it we are going to add the merge fields okay so now um whatever how do we add the merge fields wherever we have these things right so suppose the new guest which are in curly braces or the check-in date or the checkout date okay these we have to replace with the merge fields and how do we do that this is the most important step whenever we are building a prompt because if this goes wrong then uh, you know the whatever custom data it is fetching will will come wrong so that is not good so let's see for the new guest it is reservation external guest and first name so what i will do i'm going to erase it from here first of all okay whole of it and then i'm going to go here and then i'm going to reservation uh, after reservation external guest and then first name okay so external guest here and then first name okay so this will come here this is how it should come okay now what i will do is uh, i am going to um, create uh, do the same for the check-in date checkout date and room time so the check-in date is uh, they are saying it is of reservation checkout date is also reservation and room type is also reservation okay so i'm going to go here and i'm going to erase it then i'm going to go here in reservation and then i will select check-in date and then similarly for checkout i'm going to erase this i will go here on reservation and then i will select checkout date and same for the room type i'll go sorry um, i'm going to first erase this then i'm going to go on reservation and then i am going to select this room type and this is it is done now we are we are do uh, we'll do this for the experience okay so experience name experience location and experience details 
let's see so for experience it is saying we have to select experience experience name and location and description so let's do that first of all we are going to erase this we are going to go on experience and this was the name right so we will select experience name similarly for location i'm going to erase it and then we'll go inside experience okay and then uh, i will select the location so this is the location and then similarly for experience details okay so i'm going to select experience here and then i will go into the details mm, detail description is there okay let me see what is for the detail uh, description you only okay so let's select the description here this is the description okay this is complete now we don't have any more merge fields all the merge fields are done okay so now you should your template should read this something like this right so we already put in the first name and then you have i we have already done for the check-in check-out room selection and this also okay so there were in total seven merge fields and we have replaced all the seven okay looks good now what we will do is that great work your prompt template is now complete and ready to be tested so now we are going to test it in the preview window there are two fields for test data experience and reservation here you can uh, select test data for your prompt template to see okay so uh, let's save this first okay so now this is the preview window right this is the preview window review how the prompts comes okay so uh, i think it is saved right now okay and uh, now i'm going to uh, activate it okay so this is how it comes like uh sorry i have to select one more thing which i forgot and which was the open ai this is open ai chat uh, this is open ai 4 okay so this i have to select this was not good okay so now i'm going to reload it again okay great now they are saying that uh, um uh, how we can test it let's see mm -hmm. in the reservation field type er okay so i'm going to select any uh, reservation okay so this two three all is coming suppose let's select this and now i'm going to select any experience so suppose sunrise yoga here because we already created two events right so i'm going to do on this and then uh, uh, language we don't have to select and now i'll go choose preview so now in this preview we should see that all the merge fields should be replaced let's see so it is saying uh, look how it is coming it is saying that uh, instructions the check-in check-out date is coming right the room selection is coming and then here sunrise yoga where experience everything is coming right it should also say the name the first name where we replaced this was the place where we replaced right welcome isaac so it is showing our name also now let's cross check that whether the first name was this only or it was something else okay so how we can cross check we will go to uh we are going to the reservation okay and let's see i am in another window and uh, i will open um okay so it is busy right now let me take some time so what I will do is I'm trying to open reservation here and I will see that the reservation number that is 002 which I have selected. What is the first name and last name for that reservation? Okay, so reservation it is here. Okay, so this is 002. Now let's see what is the first name. So when I'll go to external guest, okay, here I can see what is the first name. Yeah, it is Isaac, right? So exactly that name got replaced because we use this merge field, right? Where we are saying first name. So exactly that name got replaced, Isaac, okay? And then all the activity, the check-in time, check-out time, everything is coming for the Isaac. So uh, this is how we can create a, a flex uh, prompt template. And uh, yeah, that's it. We created and now we have tested it also. 
now uh, let's verify this i don't know why the verification button is not coming but yeah we can just verify it and as well as uh, it's very weird i think maybe i have not sure that whether why i'm not able to verify it it should come right okay okay i think for verification maybe we have to do it uh, we have to do the other unit and then it will get completed i have no idea but yeah uh, whatever uh, it was there in this unit we have already covered so yeah thanks for watching and please subscribe me if you have not already subscribed bye bye